here with Philly starter Vince Velasquez. Touch on a couple of things. Controlling the running game and the curveball. First of all, you wanted to spice up that curveball a little bit. What are you doing differently? Uh, pretty more so just shoring up my stride. Um, you know, I worked with, with Mac a lot in bullpens. A lot of guys, they like to extend and, you know, they let their arm in the back. You know, they get a lot of, you know, they don't let their arm catch up as much as they want to. Um, so I kind of pretty much what I try to keep in the back of my mind, you know, on bullpens and in game situations, I try to shorten up my stride a little bit. Try to kept, let my body, let my arm catch up to my upper body and, and, and get into a position where I'm out in front and let the ball do its work. Obviously, you know, once you let go of the ball, you're out of control, but um, I mean, I want to work on the things that I can control. Okay, All grip of, wise, how do you hold your curveball? Now you've had, you've fooled around with a couple of different grips. You're more with the spike curve now. How did you initially throw your curveball? Um, just a regular, just a regular two fingers. A lot of guys, they put, apply a lot of pressure on, you know, the seam right here. Okay. Um, and, you know, stay on top, but sometimes I get a little bit loosey goosey with okay. it. I kind of cut across and, you know, it's not a, it's not so much of a 12-6. It's more of like a sweeping, and you know, I feel like in the slot that I have, I'm more of a 12-6 guy. Right. Um, and then, you know, I started establishing it in 2013 in Lancaster, and heavy winds are out that way. But then I had a lot more bite with a spike. With the spike. So this is how you hold it now. Yeah. This is the way. All of your curveballs that you throw, you spike the finger All the like curve that. All curveballs, definitely. Yes. Okay. Now we'll talk about the running game. You, you're trying to get a little bit quicker to the plate to contain the running game. So what do you, what have you tried to work on in spring training? Um, all the spring training, just try to impl uh, implement freaking um, Max Scherzer. Um, right. Max Scherzer was the type of guy that liked to uh, get the hitter's timings off. And, you so know, holding I, the ball a little bit longer? Holding the ball a little bit longer, uh, picking off whenever you're not supposed to. Um, I mean, you just got to keep them guessing as Making long as possible. Making the hitter uncomfortable and the guy at first base As much as possible, yes. You're, I had a hard time. Do you have a hard time, like, when you come set, you're, you have a pitch in your mind that you want to throw, you have a runner at first base, and I had a really difficult time because I was always anxious. I wanted to get the ball, and I wanted to go home. It was hard for time. me to, like, 1,001, 1,002 to come hold and set. Do you have a tough time with yeah, that? Yeah, you know, um, actually, my very first spring training game, it was kind of hard. I didn't really have the, the holding game down as much as I wanted to. Uh, but every bullpen from then on after that first outing, uh, I started establishing it. I started, you know, trusting it, started breathing and just, you know, just taking it easy. You know, it's, it's sometimes, again, like you said, you have that adrenaline, you want to get on the mound, you want to throw. Um, that's, not the, that's not the way pitchers should do it. Pitchers there's, should, a, there's a lot more to this just than throwing the ball to home exactly, play, right? 100%, yes, okay. definitely. With Vince Velasquez, big part of the Philly starting rotation.